when you see what's happening with regards to the situation in Europe today, the European, uh, the EU Commission President Ursula von der Leyen suggesting earlier today on CNBC with my colleagues that a solution to helping Ukraine could potentially be um, the seizure of Russian assets and that they could begin to pay for the damage, frankly, done in Ukraine by Russian forces. As a finance minister, do you believe the West is getting it right when it comes to President Putin's invasion? Are the economic sanctions something that you would advocate? And are you worried about their impact further down the line? Because there are sanctions that we've never seen before. Listen, Saudi Arabia is not a stranger to a situation like this. Um, um, 30 years ago, we had the Iraqi uh, you know, army in our borders. They invaded Kuwait. And we had to step up and support Kuwait and, and the Kuwaiti people. So, and, and we know how it feels. But what I'm worried about is if you don't think through the actions, particularly certain of the sanctions, unintended consequences could be actually very negative for everybody. So we need just to be very careful. And we need to assess how far should we go and what would be the negative impact uh, in other nations. Yeah. Uh, on, on you know, these sanctions. When you think about that and in terms of the broader economy, what's the most concerning aspect of all of this to you? Is it the inflation? We're now talking about stagflation, the possibility of recession. Do you believe that we're going to see the West slipping into recession? I think there is a risk that um, the certain parts of the world will go into recession. Um, uh, the consensus in Davos today is that um, the probabilities of the world going to recession have risen from 15, 20 percent, possibly to 30 plus percent. Um, I will not, you know, it's very difficult to really speculate, but I, I think it is unlikely that we will go into stagflation. Uh, I think the central banks of the world will manage inflation, but it is a real problem and it will be painful to manage it. Uh, some of the uh, consequences is going to be a recession, but hopefully not, you know, long lived. Um, I'm worried about food, and I'm worried about energy crisis. Um, I'm worried about migration. You know, if we are not careful, you will see problems like this rising. And uh, I think there are supply chain issues that people have not thought through. I mean, we talked about even in Europe with energy uh, at this level and most likely politici politicians will have to prioritize households, yes. you will have to shut down industries. Yes. What would be the consequences of shutting down industries? Fertilizers, which then will impact even more food security for next year. Yeah. Uh, Finance Minister, final question. I mean, when you think about this a bit more broadly, obviously Saudi Arabia tied to the U.S. dollar. Um, you said you felt that the Fed is managing this crisis um, effectively, at least for now. Do you believe that when you look at the U.S. economy today, they're on the right track? Because there is a lot of concern, as you say, not just about the inflationary picture, but also about a potential recession. Are we talking about the U.S.? Uh, not necessarily. I think there are a lot of people in the U.S., I can tell you, who are far more experienced and ex experts than me. Um, uh, Janet um, is, is a good friend, and I trust her. I trust her judgment. Um, the Fed is the most experts, and I trust really their judgment. Um, I think we will see some recession yeah. in some parts, uh, but I don't think it's going to be for an extended period of time.